What's good, crime family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video will bring a little light to your day. Today, we're checking out how to survive Snake Island. Let's get straight into it. Original video link in the description. Let's get it. Hold on, let's make it a bigger video. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of those things. Hey, yo. Hey, freaking. Snakes on your left, snakes on your right, giant cockroaches behind you, and in front of you, the open sea. It's difficult to get to this island in the first place, but it's almost impossible to get out alive. Excuse how to survive Snake Island. About 33 kilometers off the coast of Brazil, near the state of Sao Paulo, there's a place so dangerous that it's uninhabited and closed to visitors or tours. Ilha de Camada Grande, also known as Snake Island, is only 430,000 square meters, but it is home to a lot of danger. It's estimated that there is at least one snake per square meter, and about 4,000 of them are golden lancehead pit vipers. They're one of the deadliest snakes in the world. Ain't no this way. This place is feared even by local residents who tell stories of people going to the island but never coming back. How deadly is a golden lance head's venom? What other creatures are on the island? And why could pirates be a problem too? Before we even get any farther, why? Why would anyone want to go to this island? I mean, I get scientists, you know, they want to study snakes and all that good stuff, but listen. Ain't no way in the world a tourist or anybody that's normal should be going to this island, bruh. Like, what? And why are there so many snakes on this one island? Are people just coming and dropping out snakes or something like that? Unless you're in charge of fixing this lonely lighthouse, there's no reason for you to go to Snake Island. But if Facts. you arrive there by accident, how could you survive? That's literally what I just said. Step one, sail carefully. If you go sailing or fishing near the island, you'd better keep your distance. Snake Island is surrounded by rocks, so it is dangerous to swim near it, and it could break your boat. In late February of 2019, a small fishing boat with six men got caught in a storm. It began sinking near Snake Island. No way. Knowing exactly which island they were near, four of the men decided to swim to shore. The other two remained in the boat, choosing to <laughs> die on their own terms. Oh. The four men were on the island for three days. They stayed on the beach without entering the forest. For three days, they drank rainwater and ate bananas they found on the edge of the forest. Then they spotted a boat going near the island and quickly swam to it. The boat picked them up and delivered them to the nearest emergency room on the coast. Step two, watch out for cockroaches. Lethal vipers are not the only threat on Snake Island. There are many non-venomous snakes, giant cockroaches, and locusts that cover the island. Ain't if no you're way anywhere way. on Snake Island, you should regularly check for these not so little critters and try to avoid them the best you can. On the other hand, if you have a strong stomach, oh my they could save you from starving. That's cockroaches are safe to eat and a good source of protein and essential amino acids. Bon appetit. I didn't even know Step they get three, that big. Deal with the snakes. If you're stuck on this island, you will have to face the snakes. Try to find a stick. It will help you fight the snakes off and prevent them from biting you. If you get bitten, prepare to suffer. Since the golden lancehead pit vipers on the island evolved naturally, they developed a venom up to five times stronger than a regular lancehead vipers. This powerful venom causes severe physical complications, including kidney failure, brain hemorrhaging, and intestinal bleeding. Jesus. It can also cause muscle tissue to die, so you're going to feel as if your skin is melting. Take Imagine. off any rings, watches, and bracelets, as they could become really hard to remove if an arm begins swelling. If you have an EpiPen, use it to treat symptoms of anaphylaxis, like swelling of the face, mouth, or throat, hives, or difficulty breathing. The only way to increase your chance of surviving is with medical help, which takes us to our next step. Step four, bring a doctor. Yeah, that's probably the best time Biologists and researchers visit the island. They study the Golden Lancehead Pit Vipers, and the Brazilian Navy visits once a year to maintain the lighthouse, which has been automated since the 1920s. The government requires that every team that visits the island includes a doctor. If a Golden Lancehead bites you, 
you have a 7% chance of dying. Jesus. Being treated by a doctor can reduce those chances to 3%. Step 5. Beware of pirates. Despite the island's dangerous snakes, wildlife smugglers, also known as biopirates, have made frequent stops to trap and sell the snakes. A single golden lancehead pit vulture. It's so wild that even in 2023, like pirates are still a thing. They're not, uh, from what I've seen, they're not the pirates, you know, that we know of, but you know, like they're, they're still pirates. That's kind of wild, bruh. Viper is worth about 10,000 to 30,000 dollars on illegal mogul. Hold on, run that back. Have made frequent stops to trap and sell the snakes. A single golden lancehead pit viper is worth about 10,000 to 30,000 dollars on illegal markets. Jesus. And since this is the only place where they exist, the Golden Lance Heads are listed as endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List. Oh, wow. You escaped Snake Island alive. But it's not the only dangerous place around South America. You could end up in the Amazon, surrounded by these blood Of course, alligators. And if you're not careful, they blood might try fish, to swim up your urethra. Oh. Did this man just say a fish? Swim up. Of course, of course, that type of stuff is out there. Like, I mean, it's just why would you go out there, you know? So it's just like, you know, huge cockroaches, you know, most venomous snakes in the world, you know. You got fish that run up, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, want to know how to stop them? Find out here. Jeez. So they got more videos on this? Definitely gonna check it out. But hey, man, hope y'all enjoyed my reaction video. Let me know if y'all want to see me do more of these videos. I love watching these type of stuff because you never know, man. And anytime, you know, things could go left. So, you know, it's just like having information on this stuff and knowing how to maneuver it is always a good thing, you know? Hey, you never know when you'll need it. Hopefully never, <laughs> but, you know, just, just in case. Hope y'all enjoyed my reaction video. Original video, link in the description. We out.